What comes to mind in your head right now, wherever you are, when you hear me say the word hope? Hope in my life has been a roller coaster of ups and downs. I've lost friends, I've lost family members. I know what it's like to be hopeless and I know what it's like to be completely full of hope. I've been on the mountaintops and I've been far below the valleys. But when I find my hope in the cross of Jesus Christ, I know that I always have something to return to, something that is always there for me. It's everlasting. 1 Peter 1, 1 through 2 says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those chosen, living as exiles dispersed abroad the lands, chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient and to be sprinkled with the blood of Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be multiplied to you. The world around us is searching for hope, and maybe you right now are searching as well, trying to figure out, is there any hope? What can I do? How do I deal with the things that are going on? And as you think about that, it brings us to the study of 1 Peter, where Peter writes this epistle to the early church that were dispersed because they were following Jesus. The king and the the leader there of Nero has uh, brought this place of great persecution to the church. And so they were dispersed all throughout the land. And so the the question was, was, was there hope? Is there hope? And so Peter writes to them to bring, again, the understanding to see that there is hope. There is encouragement for your trials, and your trials have a purpose. God is at work. God is moving. And in the middle of all that you're going on, all that's happening in your life, the trials of your life is still in the plan and purpose of God. Hope has a name, and that name is Jesus. Hope starts here. 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 here.